Hi everybody, my name is Rachel Gilmore and I've been invited um, to talk to you a little bit about my side of the textile and fabric business. Um, sorry I couldn't be there in person, but I think it'll work out a little bit better because I can actually show you some of my um, machines and some of the things I have going on here. So first of all, I started sewing when I was a child little, probably around your age. My mom had a sewing machine. I would mess around with it and just do some stitches. Never really um, did too much with it. And then I got into 4-H where um, I was able to learn how to use patterns and make patterns and learn about different textiles and what they're made and what um, you use different items for. Like like t-shirts is made out of a knit fabric. Um, a lot of um, other things that are stiffer are made like out of cotton fabric. So I think you've learned about like the manufacturing side of it. Um, so I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the, you know, designer part of it, I guess. <laughs> so I got my um, very first sewing machine at 16 and have been pretty much sewing ever since. I sewed through high school, I made my own prom dresses, I sewed in college, I made quilts for my professors. So I've been, you know, doing it. It's a, it's a really nice, um, I guess, talent or gift to know. So if you're interested in it, you know, find a sewing class or ask somebody that knows how to sew to get into it because it's really helpful just on a day-to-day -day basis. Like, to sew a button on or to hem your skirts or to hem your pants. I mean, I get a lot of requests for just simple um, sewing tasks that not everybody knows how to do. So um, I guess I, I guess I'll start where I started um, with sewing. So if you um, after the fabrics manufactured and stuff, I get um, fabric on a bolt, this is black, it's probably hard to see, but it comes in, um, let me turn this around, maybe not. <laughs> it comes in a big um, roll of fabric that I, you know, unroll and measure. You can get it at the fabric store by the, by the yard or whatever project you have, but um, I've been making a lot of masks, as you know, for the um, coronavirus so I've been buying them in bolts of fabric so this is how it comes like from the manufacturer and it usually comes you know with what kind of fabric it is over here and um, what it's made out of and different types of fabric which there's lots of different types of fabric so that's what I've been doing so after you get the bolt like this you get a pattern or you make a pattern. So um, this was my, you know, part of my mass pattern. Um, so you cut a whole bunch of these out and <laughs> sew it together. That's what people don't understand. I get a big roll of fabric and then I cut it all to pieces and sew it all back together, which some people just don't understand, but that's how you make clothes. I mean, you have to have different angles and different sizes and it gets all pieced back together. Um, so that's what I've been doing. Um, I started out, like I said, making quilts. Here's one of the quilts I've made. You can see, um, it takes, you have to be really precise when you sew. Um, you have to measure everything down to like the very quarter of inch. So you have to measure your fabric. You have to sew your fabric at a certain stitch or it just won't all piece together. It's like a big puzzle and it just won't go all together. So um, here's a here's um, a pattern of a quilt and you can see it's kind of in a zigzag pattern at first look at it but if you look really close they're just um, this is really hard to do I'm not a good video maker. If you look close like this this is a square or a rectangle this is a rectangle so all these pieces are rectangles and they all just interlock as a puzzle and then you sew it together and I put like batting in the middle of it and a backing on it so um sorry about that <laughs> the phone rang joys from working at home um but it's really nice again I work from home I have a little studio in the basement and I have um some machines like 
throughout the house that I sew on. Um, hopefully I'll be getting like a real store someday. But um, for now it works great for me because I can be home with the kids and um, do it on my own time. So um, let's go into some of the machines that I have. Um, I have a bunch of machines and they all do different things. So um, this is just, um, I wish I knew how to turn this around. This is a basic little, this is a, let me see. This is a basic machine. It just does a straight stitch. Um, you have a needle and you put your fabric in here and oh, you sew with that. That this just this is a commercial type machine. It um stitch just does a straight stitch, but it also can do like a quilting stitch, like a free motion st stitch. It's called, but mostly it just does a straight stitch. Um, this one I is manual. That means I dial in what I want it to do and I press a pedal and it goes. It's just like driving a car. Like the faster you press on the pedal, the faster it goes. Um, so this is just a pretty basic machine. When I first started out, I just had a basic machine, just straight stitch. And you can do so much with just, um, just a basic machine if you want to learn how to do it. So then I also have um, this machine. This is called a serger. It has four um, spools of thread. And um, this one is a pretty fancy one. It cuts the material and sews the material at the same time. So my little piece, um, I'll show you this. This is what stitch this does. And you can see this on a lot of your clothing. It's a finishing edge so that you, the fabric doesn't unravel after you sew it. And it makes a kind of, it's kind of a pretty stitch. See, let me show you like that. And like I said, it you follow around the pattern and it cuts the fabric off and sews the edge closed. So that's that. <laughs> um, also within my business, I um, do, it's called screen printing. It's a different kind of decoration on a fabric or like t-shirts, clothing. So I'll show you that next one. Okay, so this is an example of a screen print. It's it's distressed, so it's not like messed up or anything. That's what it's that's it's called a distress on it. Um, but this that's when you put the lettering or the dye right onto your fabric. And in order to do that, you put your um, design, you print your design out on the computer, and you put it on this screen. It's called. It's, it's a really fine mesh screen that has holes in it. And um, then you use a dye or a paint, almost kind of like a thick dye, and you squeegee it down. You put it on top of your um, t shirt after your design's on it, like this, and then you squeegee down the paint. It's kind of um, a messy process, so I didn't want to get all into that with you on on the video. But if you ever seen like um well, like almost all the shirts that have a graphic on them are screen printed in some way. So um, I do that, and also I do a lot. Hold on, let me move. Okay, so <laughs> I'm not sure what happened. I told you I am not good at this like video thing. So um, a little bit back to like um, patterns. I think it'd be a little bit easier if you actually seen what one was. Um, so you can buy a pattern like this. I made this costume um, a while back. So it comes like this. Um, it comes in different sizes. So you have to learn how to read the directions. And back here, it'll tell you what sizes you need. Um, how much fabric you need, what types of fabric you need. So it's pretty um, in depth, but to learn how to read a pattern is very valuable. It'll help you understand like how most every, all your clothing's made. So in the um, package, you get these um, little thin sheets and this is your pattern and see there's like three different sizes. So you'd have to pick out like what size you need, you're going to make and then use all the lines. Um, so if you're gonna use um, the small size, you would use all these inner lines um, throughout the whole project. 
and um, it tells you um, what, how to place your um, pattern on a fabric. These arrows tell you how to match up the grain line so that when you put it on, it's not um, crooked, especially if you're using like stripes or a pattern on, on your fabric. Um, like I said, I also make that make patterns. So here's a pattern that I made. Um, and then I use the same green lines and um, the notches tell me how to sew everything together. Okay, so. <laughs> um, oh, and I also use like rulers um, that tell me different shapes. And when I make quilts, I use these kind of patterns. They're like um, all, it's almost like a graph paper. And it tells me what shapes to put in. So this actually is leaves, but it's all made with triangles and squares. So it's definitely like a big puzzle. Um, so next, I also do embroidery on um, items. So, and a lot of the stuff I do now is embroidery or even with a screen print. <sighs> okay, Nicholas needed a drink, so that was important. <laughs> So, um, a lot of the sewing is manual, like the measuring and cutting and things like that. But with the screen printing and my embroidery, it all has to be designed in um, programs like my lettering and my graphics. All is designed on the computer. And then I transfer it from the computer to my machines. It's kind of like a printer. My embroidery machine is kind of like a, a, it's a printer, but it prints with thread, which is kind of cool because any designs I put on my computer, I can put on clothing. So um, here's like a design I worked up in, um, on my computer. This is the one I did gym shorts with. So I um, design it all and it, you can pick the different lettering, you can pick different colors. Um, and it all gets designed on the computer. So you really have to know how to use computers too. So um, I'll take you into my embroidery machine where I already transferred this file and show you how it works. That's pretty neat. Okay, so here is my embroidery machine. It's pretty fancy dancy, isn't it? Um, it holds like all my thread back here. Can you see, well, it's 10. There's 10 places for thread, and it all gets like threaded down through all these gadgets and gadgets all the way down to here. And you can see that then there's 10 needles with different color threads that sew at different times. So when I transfer it to my, um, from my um, computer, then I can put it on my screen, on my embroidery machine. It's upside down now because that's the way I told the machine to, um, to stitch this out, which you can do all that here too. So let's see, like that. So um, like a printer, you would hit print and it would print it out on a piece of paper. Well now all I have to do is hit like, this is my, you know, my start button or my print button and the design that I told it to print or stitch is right there. So you can watch how it stitches out. So right now it's stitching about um, 400 stitches a minute. So that means I will get 400 stitches in one minute. I can make it go up to, I think probably a thousand, but that's really too fast. And then my thread starts to break and stuff. So um, yeah, this is like my favorite part to do is watch the machine stitch it out because it's really cool. And when it's done stitching, um, there's a little cutter that cuts the thread and goes to the next sweater.
that's my embroidery machine. Okay, so that's a little glimpse into my mommy business. I call it a mommy business because I get to stay home with my kids and get to make a little extra money on the side, which is pretty nice. Um, so I guess you can pretty much say like, um, if you have an interest in something, you can definitely turn it into a business. I always say that um, I've been given this talent or this gift by God, so I should use it to you know, share with other people or help other people out. So I really like to make and create. It's, it's a lot of creating and a lot of um, um, imagination, I guess, to come up with different designs and ideas. And um, it really is fun. So if you like to be creative, then it's a great um, area to get into. Um, I guess when I was in high school, there was not a lot of um, creative businesses around here that I was, you know, that I was able to see. So um, I went in, I went to college and I became a nurse, but all through nursing school, I always sewed and stuff. So it's a nice um, hobby, I guess, or, you know, little thing to fall back on. Um, but I guess I always said if I would have known that I could have went to um, college to learn how to sew more or to design, then I probably would have like really looked into that. But so far, it's been, it's been really, you know, fun and interesting. There's always new ideas and new things coming out about um, sewing and embroidery and screen printing. So um, if you have any questions, um, the... You can, you know, write them down and ask me or I'll, I'll send you back an email or something. Um, but I think we covered pretty much. And it, luckily you got to see a lot of my machines, so it wasn't too boring for you. <laughs> so have a great day and thanks for having me. And let me know if you have any questions or if anybody wants to learn how to sew, then um, maybe down the line I'll start some sewing classes. I've already done some with adults, so I'd love to work with kids. So thanks and have a great day.